a gracious good day once again. Tis I, Norton the First, by grace of God, Emperor of the United States, and Protector of Mexico, back at you with episode 40, 40, can you believe it, of Emperor Norton's fantastic history vlog. And as we always do for the weekend edition, we welcome our special guest, the Countess Lola Montez of Lionsville. <laughs> Hello out there, and thank you for having me again, Emperor Norton. And today we're remembering Mother's Day. You have a mother, don't you? Oh, I do indeed. In fact, she's having a milestone birthday coming up. June 6th, she's going to be 100 years old. Now, let me understand. If I'm not mistaken, Your Majesty... I'm about the same age, 202 yeah. I was, yes, yes. back in February. Indeed. How does that work? Well, that's right, my mother's only 100. The Dowager is 100. I'll have to talk to the Dowager about that, maybe she remembers. I don't, I was very young then. Well, happy birthday out happy there. Happy birthday. And also, a very happy Mother's Day. Indeed. Mm. Mother's Day is a holiday honoring motherhood that is observed in different forms throughout the world. And, you know, Larry's mother had three children, mm -hmm. and she named them North, South, and West. Yeah. What do you think the fourth child's name was, Your Majesty? Well, logically, that would be East. No, Larry. Mm -hmm. oh. So, you know, if you mix birth control and you mix LSD, what do you get, Your What's Majesty? That? You get a trip without the kids. Mm. Oh, dear. Now, I'm reminded of the little boy that went to Sunday school, and they said, Johnny, do you say your prayers before you eat? And he says, no, ma'am, I don't have to. My mother's a good cook. <laughs> yeah. Now, then I'm reminded also of the story that one day the mother hippo and the mother kangaroo were talking, mm -hmm. and the kangaroo mother said, I hate rainy days. And the hippo mama says, well, why is that? She says, well, because the children have to play inside. Oh. Oh, well. Ooh. Now, you know, we all have our mothers, and I'm sure you'll remember things as you grow older, such as I, that all those things your mother used to say, mm -hmm. like mine used to say to me, Lola, it's just as easy to marry a rich man as a poor man. You know? And... True that. But she used to also say things like, I'm warning you, if you fall out of that tree and break your legs, don't come running to me. Oh, oh. Now, uh, Lola, were you a mother yourself? Well, never biologically. But, you know, being a royal as yourself, yes. we are parents to the rest of our empire, indeed. But I never biologically had children. I did have an affair with my publicist, when I was coming from Australia back to San Francisco, mm -hmm. he mysteriously fell overboard. Mm. Mm. But uh, his children were also on board, and they were motherless. And what I did, I took them under my wing, and I actually left the stage. I hooked some of my jewels in San Francisco. And then we went off to New York and got a shabby little apartment in Hell's Kitchen. And they grew up there. But... Uh, Oh, I, I love my animals, too, and I always consider all my pets my children at this point in my life. Indeed. They give me a lot of comfort and joy. I'm sure all of you think of that way, too, even if you don't have biological children or adopted children. But we're all, you know, to you, you're all my children out there. Yes. Did you know about some of the history of Mother's Day? No, I know nothing about it. Why don't you tell me? Well, I will tell you a bit, and all of you, too. Uh, you know, you can comment down below and please like or subscribe and let us know if you have any questions and the Emperor, of course, will take care of that. And I'm reminded in 1868, the origins was Mother's Friendship Day. And it was organized to show mothers of the Union and Confederate soldiers to get together for world peace. And the late 1800s, the United States women's groups came together in West Virginia to tackle issues from infant mortality to disease and milk contamination. Mm -hmm. mm. And in 1870, the composer 
Julia Ward Howe, issued a Mother's Day proclamation urging women to become politically active and to promote peace following the American Civil War. Mm. Yes, good idea that. And in the United States, the American incarnation of Mother's Day, very much like we know it today, was created by Anna Jarvis Ooh. in 1908 and became an official holiday in the United States and signed by President Woodrow Wilson in 1914. Now in 1908, Anna Jarvis held a memorial for her departed mother at St. Andrew's Methodist Church in Grafton, West Virginia, and the church now holds the International Mother's Day Shrine. Anna had spent most of her personal wealth fighting the holiday that she had conceived. She found the idea of commercializing the holiday disgusting and demeaning. Yes, she mm. believed that it was deplorable and uh, sued groups that actually used the name Mother's Day, promoting commercialism gain. And she even lobbied the government to remove the holiday from the United States official calendar. Mm. Anna Jarvis, I want you to know, never married, and she was always childless. How ironic. But she uh, was vehemently against the whole idea of, you know, having the Mother's Day. So when she died at the age of 84 and penniless, things moved on and the idea of it caught on. Hmm. For example, the carnation became the original Mother's Day flower and some groups sold the carnation every year for fundraising. And Jarvis at the time was appalled, you know. So Jarvis compared the beautiful carnation shape and life cycle to the mother's love. And in 1928, or 1927, I stand corrected, she said, and I quote, The carnation does not drop its petals, but hugs them to its heart as it dies. And so too mothers hug their children to their hearts, to their mother's love never dying. Mm. And I unquote that. So remember, when you buy flowers for your mother this year, consider the white carnation and the simple origins of the holiday and the lack of commercial gain in that. After all, it's not just about flowers, cards, candy, or jewelry. I kind of like the jewelry, mm -hmm. though, to be true truthful about that it's about love indeed and yes speaking of which um it's not a carnation oh but we do have a beautiful white daisy for you today in honor of oh. mother's day mm, how lovely thank you so much your majesty you're most welcome very sweet and i understand you have a special song for us today yes with a little bit of help and perhaps you too can sing along with us there indeed. if you're all alone about this you might know this song you know M is for the million things she gave me. O means only that she's growing old. T is for the tears she shed to save me. H is for her heart of purest gold. E is for her eyes with love like shining. R means right, and right shall always be, always be. Put them all together, they spell mother, a word that means the world to me. M is for the mercy she possesses. O means that I owe her all I own. All I own. T is for her tender, sweet caresses. H is for her hands that made a home, made a home. E means everything she's done to help me. R means real and regular, you see. Regular, you see. Put them all together, they spell mother. 
a word that means the world to me. Well, that wraps it up for this edition. Happy Mother's Day to one and all. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay inside, stay healthy. If you go outside, wear a mask. Don't be stupid and be kind to each other. Feliz de la madre. Si, si. Yes. Bye-bye.